My beloved child, every situation in your life is designed to train and equip you to have a deeper and richer fellowship with me. I do not cause any negative situation in your life, but I am incredibly brilliant at turning it to your advantage. So no matter what is occurring, you can anticipate the learning that will create a life-changing experience. What you hear in this word will transform how you think about prayer, which then changes how you pray with me. My intention is that you will love prayer in our company and that you will have our delight to encourage you always in everything. Instead of uncertainty, you will encounter a rising confidence in my love for you. Never forget that I am making you in my image and my likeness. And I love this process. And I want you to love this process too. So I am looking forward to you learning my heart language towards you. I have great expectation of myself when I look at you. That's why I always smile in your direction. The old you is dead. It died in Jesus on the cross. When he died, you died. Romans 6. <laughs> the new you was resurrected with him. That's in the same chapter. At the same time as you practice your new life with Jesus by the Spirit, you are automatically crucifying the flesh. Isn't that amazing? You keep the old dead by ignoring it and focusing on your new true life in Jesus. We included you in his death so that we could incorporate you into his presence as a new creation. Now you can experience the same unifying blend of oneness that we have always enjoyed since before the dawn of time. You live with us in our oneness and unity. That's beautiful, isn't it? You're welcome. Glad you are here with us. It is this oneness that is the basis of all prayer. You cannot be separated from Christ in us. That's Romans 8. When your perceptions of your life in us begin to dominate your heart and mind, then your new lens about yourself will change the way that you pray. In turn, your perspective on prayer will change the way you think. Your language in prayer will be rooted in trust and faith, which increases your expectation. As you experience your partnership with Jesus and the Holy Spirit in prayer, you will learn the questions you can ask to gain focus. Beloved, as the certainty of my promises becomes your greater reality, the language of your prayers with us will change. You know, language is important. 
it's one of the reasons why crafted prayers carry such weight in the spirit. Because the language is based on intentional focus that will always hit the target of my will. <laughs> I love telling you what I want to do in you, for you, through you, and around you. Come, beloved. I made the world for you so that I could walk this world with you and teach you to walk with me in my kingdom. Is it too hard for you to believe that you are my world too? Yes, you. You personally. You are my world too. I so love the world that I gave Jesus for its sin. And the resurrected Jesus now lives in you, which means you live in our world now in him. I love that. You're in my space. <laughs> the kingdom is now your normal habitat. Welcome to the place where all things are possible. In the kingdom, our language in prayer is the vocabulary of faith and expectation. You know, in the world, expectation is referred to as hope. People hope for something, but they are uncertain that it will occur. In the kingdom, expectation is anchored in trust in my nature. I am unchanging. I am the same yesterday, today, and forever. My word will never pass away. So scripture, promises, and prophecy all carry the same power of prediction, which is the source of faith and anticipation. There is an eagerness about life in me that is yours to enjoy. <laughs> we have an expectation of our life in you becoming your key place of transformation. So praying with us gives you a confidence because you know whom you have believed and you are fully persuaded that powerful things will result. The purpose of praying with my beloved son and the wonderful spirit of truth is that they will teach you the same anticipation that we all share together. We welcome you into our fellowship. We would love for you to have our expectation of goodness. We invite you into our rest and peace so you can relax in our presence. We can be trusted with your heart. We live in you so that you can walk in our fullness. You live in us so that you can practice our identity in yourself. As we are, so are you in this world. All that we have is yours in Jesus. Beloved, this is not a do-it-yourself spirituality. We have a oneness that cannot be set aside. You are part of our unity with each other. 
So the language of our prayers through you creates your expectation in us. And the ground rules for expectation are these. Through Christ in you, we have transferred righteousness to you and we declare ourselves happy with Jesus in you. Righteousness is therefore our gift to you. You can't earn it. It's a gift. We create a lasting peace in your heart through Jesus who lives in you. He is your Prince of Peace. That, pe that peace is the bedrock of our passionate engagement in you. That peace will guard your heart and your mind. Our faith at work in you guarantees that you will have permanent access to our kindness and our love. We will empower you. Just ask and expect. We will teach you the joy and peace in believing. All negativity and disempowered thinking and language must be set aside so that trust and expectation can empower your heart to believe as we believe. <laughs> Beloved, disappointment is a backward step. Expectation is a forward leap. Expectation allows you to keep every thought in real perspective with the relationship between the Father and the Son. Beloved, we will change your internal atmosphere from toxic negativity to joyful proclamation. As you practice joyful submission to our kingdom reality, your worldly thinking will begin to disappear. In a world of chaos, you will become sure and certain of the kingdom to which you belong. Praying with us will make you different. You will cease to attach a personal pronoun to a negative. You will stop saying, my fear, my anxiety, my stress. You will know that joy, peace, and all our attributes now belong to you in Jesus. So your language will be rich with trust, assurance, and expectation. It is the language of promise, and it is available to every single person living in Christ in the kingdom. No one gets left out. There are no special cases. Everyone is treated exactly the same. So you can learn to navigate all your circumstances by starting your response from the place of our agreement with you. And that is simply this. All things are possible, only believe. The world says, huh, that's easy to say but hard to do. But Jesus in you says, my yoke is easy and my burden is light. He's only looking after billions of people on the planet right now. <laughs> Do you know that our expectation is infectious? Join in with our desire for you. I care about my alignment 
with you. I care about being your creator in life difficulties. Ask me. I care about being your redeemer in everything. Redemption is always available. Ask me. I care about being your comforter and your helper. I will not leave you friendless. When pressure surrounds you, my presence will become an equalizing peace on the inside that will flow out of you and become an overpowering peace around you. It is important that you learn the sound of our engagement with you. The outer atmosphere of the world is a furious noise. Your inner man in Christ is the tranquil sound of peace. My gift to you is restored participation by way of a fellowship with our heart that renews you in all things. This is our dream about being with you. We want you to receive our dedication to you in Jesus. We love being committed to you in our heart. We see ourselves in oneness with you. We live in fullness with you, which means no limitation for you. Every day, beloved, begin from a place of being accepted in Jesus. We are always peaceful about where you are in life because we know how we plan to walk with you in any situation. <laughs> Every day I look forward to being myself with you, in you, and for you. My grace, my compassion, my mercy, my love, my goodness, and my kindness are always yours in Jesus. Receive my acceptance as a gift constantly. I chose you. I bless you. I love you. You. I see you in Jesus. It is time for you to agree with me and live in the peace of being the beloved. <laughs> amen, amen, amen.